Hi. Hi students. How are you? Fine. Okay. Previous online class in heat lesson, I explained you evaporation, the factors of evaporation. That is very very important. Factors of evaporation. In Japan, Japan, surface area, humidity, wind speed, temperature. These four are depends upon hmm, factors of evaporation. Evaporation increase the temperature is more than the um, that concept uh, I explained I told already in previous class. So in this class some basic concept dew, fog, boiling. Okay. Already I told evaporation. What is the evaporation? The liquid phase changes into gaseous phase and condensation. Gaseous phase changes into liquid phase. That is the reverse process of uh, condensation. So evaporation is the reverse process of condensation. Condensation is the reverse process of evaporation. Okay, students. So Antavarku Mir Nechunaru, Mir Clarity Ga Nechkovali. अवे मेरु मत्तम हीट लेसन है पेका टेक्स्टबुक नोक सार चोस्ते गाना का रिवी चोस्ते सो ऑल कॉन्सेप्ट यू इजीली अंडरस्टैंड दैट फिनामिना ओके राइट सो इन दिस केस आई विल एक्स आई विल एक्सप्लाइन सम बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज फॉर एग्जांपल इन एर्ली मॉर्निंग व्हाट इज एर्ली मॉर्निंग बाग पुद्ना इन एर्ली मॉर्निंग ड्यूरिंग विंटर सीजन द एटमॉस्फेयर टेंपरेचर increases or decreases yes the atmosphere temperature is goes down goes down means temperature is decreases so we will observe that some water droplets are formed some water droplets are formed in window pans grass glasses etc so some objects on the surfaces few water droplets formed that water droplet formed on that surface is called dew. What is that? Dew. So students, please listen. Dew. It is very, very, very important. So during winter season, winter season, the atmosphere temperature, what is that? Goes down. What is goes down? Thank you, Bhutundi. When atmosphere goes down, in that case, such surfaces, what is such surfaces, window pans, grass, some objects, becomes uh, mm, still cold, still cold, cold, what is the reason, what is that reason, the surrounding air near them, the surrounding air near them, condensed, saturated with water vapor then in that case hmm, what is that begins condensation condensation begins when that condensation begins hmm, the water droplets formed on such surfaces so the water droplet formed on some surfaces is known as dew Okay, students, I will explain. I will explain one more. Yeah. So during winter season, winter night, the atmosphere temperature goes down. The atmosphere temperature goes down in such surfaces, uh, water droplets formed. In that such surfaces become still colder. Kun surfaces chala chala gay pote. Yendu the air near them saturated with water vapor, then condensation begins. If the condensation begins, the water droplet can be The condensation begins that water from water droplets formed on the surfaces is called dew. Okay, students. Okay, water droplet form I think dew. Sir, temperature we claim in the goes down, decreases. Further, the temperature goes down further means. Inka takipen than kondi. Emutundi. The large water vapor present in the air. The large atmosphere temperature. The large atmosphere humidity. The large amount of water vapor. 
సో ఎప్పుడైతే అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ వ్యాపర్ ఎక్కువైపోయిందో సో ఇన్ దట్ వాటర్ వ్యాపర్ ప్రజెంట్ ఇన్ ఎయిర్ ఎస్ దట్ ఈస్ కాల్డ్ వాట్ ఈస్ దట్ హ్యూమిడిటీ దట్ వాటర్ వ్యాపర్ కండెన్స్డ్ ఆన్ డస్ట్ పార్టికల్స్ ఇన్ అట్మాస్ఫియర్ already water vapor present in there already water vapor is there that water molecules that water molecules hmm, formed in the air formed in the air condense on the dust particles eppudu ite dust part dust particles meda form aindo hmm, in that case form one thick mist what is that thick mist what is thick mist tema laga tema antam gallo tema undi so the thick mist in the air is called fog okay students what is that this concept the water of the formed on such surfaces in during winter night in the season so in that such surface water droplets formed on the surfaces is called okay so the temperature falls further falls further bhaga tagipindi so the large amount of water vapor present in the air so that water molecules present in the water vapor condensed on the dust particles form thick mist this thick mist is called yes what is that fog that thick mist is called fog so so two wonderful concepts is there one is dew and another is fog fog means water droplet formed on the surfaces fog means yes the thick mist in the air the temperature falls further the thick mist in the air the condensation on the dust particles is called fog so students please listen for example nenu okadu meeku cheptunnanu oka beaker lo water teeskuni dani heat cheyandi mana entha varaku heat cheyagala చాలా వరకు హీట్ చేయగలం ఎంతవరకు హీట్ చేస్తే అది ఆగిపోతుంది ఎప్పుడు దానికి హీట్ టెంపరేచర్ ఇస్తూ ఉంటే ఒకనొక కేసులో అది టెంపరేచర్ని ఇంకా తీసుకోదు సో ఆ కేసు మనం ఏమంటాం సో ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ ద టెంపరేచర్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ రైజెస్ ద టెంపరేచర్ ఆఫ్ వాటర్ రైజెస్ కంటిన్యూస్లీ ఇట్ గిల్ గివ్ అప్ కంటిన్యూస్లీ హీట్ ఎనర్జీ ఇస్తే ఏం జరుగుతుంది వాట్ ఇస్ హ్యాపన్ how to identify so that concept is called boiling already i told in previous class evaporation so in this class i will explain about the boiling what is the difference between evaporation and boiling so evaporation means liquid to gas boiling also liquid to gas but what is the difference of evaporation and boiling okay let us start students so so this concept i will explain okay thank you boiling so students our new concept is boiling what is boiling what is evaporation evaporation boiling are equal but but some difference are there what are the difference of evaporation and boiling what is the definition of boiling what is the process of boiling okay let us start for example take a beaker take a beaker pour some water pour some water okay so it is placed on burner burner means heat it is placed on the burner with try point stand ikkada try point stand land ga okati untadi దాని మీద దీన్ని పెట్టుకోవాలి ట్రై పాట్ స్టాండ్ సో టేక్ ఏ బీకర్ పోర్ సమ్ వాటర్ ప్లేస్ టోన్ ది బర్నర్ బర్నర్ విత్ ది హెల్ప్ ఆఫ్ ట్రై పాట్ స్టాండ్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ కేస్ హీట్ ఎనర్జీ గివెన్ టు ది దిస్ బీకర్ ఆఫ్టర్ సమ్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్టర్ సమ్ టైమ్ ఫస్ట్ take one thermometer 
take one dharma meter you will absorb that temperature of water this in this case you will absorb the temperature of water every 2 minutes or 3 minutes as you like every 2 or 3 minutes you absorb the you absorb the dharma meter reading in water so the temperature of water increases or decreases yes exactly correct it is increase so how much increase enta ind anedi every 2 minutes ki man observe cheskuntu undali okay so we will observe that the temperature heat energy continuously given to the this baker at a particular one stays no additional increase of temperature is observed so this heat energy continuously to the beaker only till it reaches 100 degrees celsius after this after this after 100 degrees celsius no additional no additional increase of temperature is observed so at this stage we can see some water bubbles on the water bubbles so bubbles formed on the water surface so many water bubbles so many bubbles formed on the water surface why how did the process of boiling takes place okay students how did the process of boiling takes place so i am explain for example any liquid so several and chaala several impurities on water okay several impurities dissolves in water dissolves in water several impurities dissolves in water in liquid water man tisukunte chaala impurities untai including some gases according to solubility of gas ante anta adi solubility ayindi the solubility of gas is reduced when this liquid is heated ante em artham endandi manu edaina oka liquid ni heat chesthe andulo unde atuvanti impurities emai potai soluble potai andukune hmm vedu neellu taagali kaachi challarchina neellu taagali antam antaru peddalu meaning adhe so in water so many several impurities dissolve in water when liquid this this water is increased then this solubility of gases reduced eppudaithe aa gas reduce ayipeniyo aa place lo em form avutayandi bubbles that's why bubbles formed on the water surface okay students so in this case how does the that process bubbles are formed okay let us see i will take one concept it is very very important in this case it is your textbook paragraph it is very important so these bubbles these water bubbles evaporation from water molecules surrounding the liquid yeah surrounding the liquid a uh, atmosphere liquid me surrounding so the bubbles get filled with saturated vapor mm. these bubbles get filled with saturated vapor what is saturated saturating with vapor mm. whose pressure is directly proportional to increase in temperature excellent so here pressure applied pressure applied on the bubble from outside so pressure pressure saturated of the vapor vapor inside what is that what is that pressure of the saturated vapor inside the bubbles is equal to the pressure applied on the bubbles from outside and byte nunchi ee bubble meeda apply cheyabadina pressure already lopala vapor tho saturate ayipoyina ayipoyinaatuvanti aa pressure rendu emaipothayi equal 
at this stage at this stage no additional increase of temperature is observed that's why at this condition at a particular this specific point of temperature is called constant temperature okay students that's why the liquid phase it changes into gaseous phase yet what is that at constant temperature constant temperature it is very 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 important so the liquid phase is changes into gaseous phase at constant temperature that constant temperature is called boiling point of water generally we call boiling point of water so in this case the saturated this bubble saturated with vapor whose pressure is directly proportional to increase in temperature it is also important man apply this in pressure pressure is directly proportional to increase in temperature ikkada unde pressure hmm ee perige temperature ki ela untundi directly proportional ga untundi that's why the pressure saturated with vapor inside the bubbles is equal to the pressure applied on the bubbles from outside outside nunchi vache pressure we already lobal unnatuvanti pressure ee rendu equal ayipoyi aa place lo bubbles ane form ayi akkada 100 degree celsius varaku vachi dani tarvata Mm. no additional increase of temperature is observed yeah, that's why in that specific point of temperature is called boiling point of water so this total phenomena is called liquid is changes to gas at constant temperature is called boiling okay students what do we conclude mir em nechukunnaru so many several impurities dissolve in water when liquid or water any water any liquid is heated after some time the impurities dissolved i mean that impurities uh, appears means disappears i mean it's any one now so that's why the liquid phase is changes into gaseous phase at constant temperature is called boiling okay students so evaporation boiling it's quietly different is different from the process of evaporation and uh, boiling what is the difference of evaporation and boiling what is the difference of evaporation and boiling okay students i will explain one essay question in your public examination so what is that question what are the difference between evaporation and boiling okay okay students me andar mundiki nenu chesanu evaporation boiling chapatti so let us start evaporation boiling it is very 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 important it is the government schedule question means ap government to मन की प्रोड्यूस क्वेश्चन अंडी वाले आंसर को इट इज़ वेरी इंपारटेंट ओके आचार चुद सो जनरली एवापरेशन मीन लिक् फेज इज चेंजेस इन टू गैस फेज बॉइलिंग आलो लिक् फेज इज चेंजेस इन टू गैस फेज ओके वट इज एवापरेशन लिक्स इन टू गैस वट इज बॉइलिंग this is also liquid to it changes into gases because but uh, uh, this evaporation is takes place at a all temperature this takes place at a particular temperature temperature means constant temperature it's it's form at constant temperature this is of course at all temperature means uh, any temperature okay students and next one evaporation takes place from the surface the entire liquid boils evaporation takes place from the surface and then i already i told this is surface phenomena so evaporation takes place takes place from the surface surface degra jarutundi but this is in boiling the entire liquid boils what is the second point the entire liquid boils what is that first first at our temperature it is at a constant temperature this is from the surface this is what is that liquid the entire liquid boil mar 100 degrees tarvata getwanti addition of increase anedi jaragadu temperature okay and next one so this is the cooling process yes excellent
this is cooling process so in this case evaporation is a cooling process but boiling does not take place evaporation is a cooling process but it is not it is not a cooling process and fourth one what is the fourth one yes so it is a slow process yeah so evaporation is a very very slow flow slow process but it is rapid process means it is speed process okay students let us start the liquid phase changes into gas phase at all temperature is called evaporation liquid phase is gas liquid phase is changes into gas phase at a constant temperature is called boiling so this is from the surface this is entire liquid boils this is only cooling process this is not a cooling process this is very very slow process this is a rapid process okay students so in this uh, essay question um, evaporation using internal energy yes ఆ లోపల జరుగుతుంది ఇంటర్నల్ ఎనర్జీ ఆఫ్ ది సోర్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ సోర్స్ ఆఫ్ ది హీట్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఇంటర్నల్ దట్ ఇస్ ఎక్స్టర్నల్ సోర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ది హీట్ సో వన్స్ అగైన్ ఎవాపరేషన్ ఈజ్ లిక్విడ్ ఫేస్ టు గ్యాస్ ఎట్ ఎనీ టెంపరేచర్ బాయిలింగ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో లిక్విడ్ టు గ్యాస్ బట్ కాన్స్టెంట్ టెంపరేచర్ ఎవాపరేషన్ స్లో ప్రాసెస్ బట్ బాయిలింగ్ ర్యాపిడ్ ప్రాసెస్ ఎవాపరేషన్ కూలింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ బాయిలింగ్ not a cooling and this is from the surface but that is that means boiling means entire liquid boils so students so this is the the difference between evaporation and boiling where does heat energy supply to go where does the heat energy supply to go ante ikkada manam heat energy isthunam 100 degree celsius varaku so at 100 degree celsius no additional temperature is increase observed no additional increase of temperature is observed mari mari isthuna heat energy ekkadiki vellipothundi yes for example some amount of heat energy some amount of heat energy the state of water is liquid the state of water liquid phase to gaseous phase at a constant temperature some amount of heat energy is used to the state of water from liquid to gas at a constant temperature is called latent heat of vaporization latent heat of vaporization what is latent hidden what is hidden dagi unna ante aa manam icche heat energy latent heat of vaporization ayipothundandi so some amount of heat energy is used to convert the state of water from liquid to gas at a constant temperature is called latent heat of vaporization so this latent heat of vaporization in other words it is very very important 1 gram of liquid the heat energy required the 1 gram of liquid into gaseous state the heat energy required to change the 1 gram of liquid is changed into gaseous state 1 gram of liquid into gas at a constant temperature he is called latent heat of vaporization so this is denoted by symbol l so l means q by m what is q heat energy what is m mass so l is equal to q by m assume that the liquid mass is m and in this case heat energy is q that heat energy required q carries then the latent heat of vaporization l is equal to q by m already do you know what is that q q is heat energy its units calorie m m is mass its units grams this is what is that cgs unit so in cgs system 
in CGS system, the latent heat of vaporization units calorie per gram. In SI system, the latent heat of vaporization units hmm, joule per kg. Joule, heat energy is measured in joule, mass is measured in kg. In SI system, hmm, heat energy measured in calorie. Alagay, hmm, mass is measured in gram in CGS system. Then finally, in CGS system, calorie per gram. In SI system, joule per kg. What is the what is this conclusion? What do we conclude this topic? The amount of heat energy to required to require one gram of liquid changes into gas state at a constant temperature is called latent heat of vaporization. Vaporization. So this latent heat of vaporization is denoted by L. Okay, students. So let us start. Our next concept is freezing melting. So we will discuss about uh, melting. Melting. Do you know melting? Yes, carry board. Man chala movies lo choose thoon tam. Vok ice cube ni man vok a certain distance man this ke lala nte a distance ke laser ki adhe mei pothun nte mottam dissolve mei pothun kari ke pothun nte so just example ka mei jepe nte so ice melt ane di melt out nte kada nte melt melting yandu ko melt out nte asal melting nte yandu so let us start our activity ready start so take a big cup baker this kondi so fill it with the what is that? Ice cubes. Filled with ice cubes. Okay. Take one thermometer kept into beaker. Yes. Absorb the thermometer reading every one minute, every two minutes, whatever is made. Absorb this thermometer in mercury level. Absorb. So, initially, this thermometer and again, this beaker is keep it on burner. Do you know burner? Heat chain. After some time, after some time, again the mercury level observe. Every one minute. Up to till it reaches 0 degree Celsius. Initially, below 0 degree Celsius. At the beginning, at the beginning, below 0 degree Celsius. When this ice cubes heat energy supplied to the this system then that heat energy reaches to zero degree celsius so students please listen beyond zero degree celsius after zero degree celsius no heat i mean no temperature is absorbed in this case because the constant temperature is zero degree celsius in boiling 100 degree celsius in melting zero degree celsius because every day no heat is done now. Heat energy given to this beaker in this internal energy. What is internal? All of them. Internal energy of the molecules increases. When internal energy increases, in that force of attraction decreases. What is that? Force of attraction decreases. Every day force of attraction and the decrease I pin do. In that water molecule bond break, weaken, then finally break. Okay, in that water molecule, what is the water molecule? H2O. What is H2O? Water. When heat energy supplied to this beaker, then that internal energy of the particle increases, then the force of attraction decreases, then finally this water molecule bonds break and this weaken. That's why in this state, in this phase, solid, initially solid means ice cubes, then finally it is changes into liquid. So, this is solid is completely hmm, converted into liquid is called, what is that? Melting. Okay, students, are you understand? Okay, again, take a beaker, 
some filled with the ice cubes initially at the beginning 0 degree celsius when heat energy to the supply to the beaker then that is it reaches 0 degree celsius after 0 degree celsius no further increase temperature absorbed okay because this is till reaches 0 degree celsius in that internal energy in water molecules bonds break when that break in that case the solid is changes into liquid state so then finally the melting point of ice the melting 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 point of ice is 0 degree celsius it is the total phenomenon of melting okay students okay students so it is the melting process so now i will enter into freezing it is very 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 important freezing and man andarki telusu freezing lone refrigerator lone freezing ane kuda undi freezing ante gadda kattadu ante man liquid pettukona ankonde concept ki em avutundi deep freeze lo pettesam ankonde deep freeze lo pettesam ankonde em avutundi gattiga vachestundi solid ga vachestundi so the liquid changes into chapandi solid ela avutundo ok sari man textbook lo chuddam page number 16 andi Freezing concept. Page number 16. So, you might have observed coconut oil and ghee getting converted from liquid state to solid state during winter season. Excellent. Andy. Oil, ghee, neya. Neya. This is the winter season. Lo ye yes. So, what could be reason for this change? This is the change. Let us start. So, we know that water kept in refrigerator convert to solid dice. Yeah. So, take one water bottle. In that water bottle, fill it with water. So, that water bottle is kept into deep freeze. Means the refrigerator. After some time, after few hours, that is convert into solid dice. Okay. You know that initial temperature of water is more compared to the temperature of ice yeah starting low unde initial temperature the initial temperature of water starting temperature is more than compared to mm, ice the temperature of ice the temperature of ice the temperature of water in which is more mm, water is more yes so it means that during this process from liquid to solid liquid to solid this internal energy of the water decreases in melting increases so in freezing decreases so in this case in this internal energy decreases so that uh, becomes a solid ice so this is called freezing okay what do you conclude so some substance convert into solid diet in winter season why this happened because this internal energy of the molecules decreases so it becomes and convert into solid dice then finally this phenomena is called mm, freezing the temperature of water is more than compared to the temperature of ice okay students so this process liquid phase is changes to gases phase mm, by losing some of its energy by losing some of its what is that energy it is very important by losing some of its energy you put a liquid solid in the change in though in that place some loss of energy so that loss of energy internal molecules water is decreases then finally that liquid is changes into solid ice is called freezing so students, so in the freezing of water takes place at the 0 degree Celsius temperature and one atmosphere pressure. Yeah. So the freezing of water, freezing of water is equal to 0 degree Celsius and one atmosphere pressure. So this is the total phenomenon of uh, what is that? Freezing, melting boiling evaporation the factors of evaporation so many so many concepts are completed so okay students 
next online class we shall meet in next online class in that class freezing very excellent concept how water expands on freezing some problems based on 10th class means public examinations we'll discuss that is next class is last heat concept so after that i will enter into assets and bases okay students please stay home stay safe so andarki bhaga inti degire undi andaru kuda baitikellakunda inti degire undi chadukondi okay students thank you thank you